Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we will guide how to do a prison break on Act 2 to get, to get the achievement and the lock and key. First, we on the uh, on the prison on Moonrise Tower, and you can talk to the prisoner to tell them, as you can see, the guards will try to punish you, but it's a, a simple check. You can also try to speak to the prisoners without the guard looking. It, it also works. Yourself. And then you inform the prisoner that you, you want to rescue them. There are gnomes and there are deal things on the different cells. As you can see, you're dead, and then if you go to the left, this is a, a way to, to make the cheating even easier. You don't need to fight. You just go to the left of the map. Then you jump. And then you see this thing under under the, the prison. You can use uh, if you jump without feeder fall, you, you won't die you but you lose HP. Yes, use a spell feeder fall. It should be on, or you should be go, get scroll for that, or get it's a tier one spell, so it will not no problem to use with any class. Directly, it shall be done. So now, when you go to just feeder fall is an area effect that like gives ten turns of feeder fall, so you can just jump down. Now you jump. Right beneath the towers. Oh, look at it. The colony must, must be the be place close. where sanity comes to drown. That must be where the tadpoles are coming from. You can see some corses there with uh, tadpoles if you want to loot them. But for the achievement, you you can just go to the to the shortcut. You hear the screen because there are two two mobs that you need to kill. This is truly the pit that keeps on giving. These mobs are two abomination. The the thing is. They got multi attack when you when you prone and and they jump to prone your people. Wanna fast forward on the the combat. It's not not a complicated combat. I mean. As you say, they, they they are too. So you can do that without wasting any. Any big spell or anything. Now you see when you fight then there is a, a dig. If you don't see the dig with you fail a perfection change, you can just summon the scratch, the dog, so he can find it for you. Just do it after the combat to avoid the dog from dying. Then you just keep going and you find this shortcut that gives you up. Let's give this a try. So as you can see, you are now on the other side of the of the prison on the north pan. You can also get that here by jumping using flying, but I mean, this is not so complicated to that you only use feeder spell or you can just don't use it. And then you'll be behind the cells. This is the, the first this is the first cell which is the cell with the, the goblins, so the gnomes. And the, on the left is the cell of the Tyrfins. You have to use uh, Blue Jolin damage to kill the, the, the walls of the cells. Let's keep that in mind. And it's very important that uh, I mean, when you kill the cells and you want to escape, you will stay on, the, on these ships. But this ship got these chains that the, the NPCs will try to break, but you can just destroy the chain before before releasing them to speed up the process 
normal y just let one, one, and one hit chain because the if if both chains are uh, destroyed the gnomes will not wait the tiefling to leave and you can fail the treatment so now you just uh, put uh, you charge the imposition put one on the right and one on the left to kill the destroy the, the the walls it's important that you uh, destroy first the the right wall because if you destroy first the thing the the walls will come will give a run just destroy the gnomes and and go and go to the to the ship i'm ready whatever it takes as i told you just put a uh, blue joint damage because the the wall is sturdy and you don't do any damage with slashing and attack now i recommend putting a turn mode yeah, yeah, you can see. Slashing is immune to slashing damage, so I have to wait another time to keep the maze and and destroy the the wall. This way. I'm gonna start moving. So in the next turn, I just put the maze. See you destroy with the maze, and now you just run to the ship. Let's try this way. I you already on tour mode because the, the guards when they see that the prisoner are running for, for the back, they're gonna try to chase you. And you will enter in combat. It doesn't matter. You see? Because you you just need them to be closer to the ship to escape. So you just need to make time. So you can throw throw things, or and you, you can block that with uh, fog, darkness, or every AOE uh, skill. The blind, you can put grease, whatever. I use an... and you can see. I use a rod darkness to place a, a black cloud that they can see. Now to keep in mind that then when you're coming back to the uh, Moonrise Tower, all the uh, prison floor will be hostile against you. Not the first floor, only the prison floor. I mean, you should just kill the prison floor, every guard, and loot the loot their things. Cause it doesn't matter because the other the thing, the other floors are still neutral to you. So it, I mean, why not? It's free esp, free loot, free gold. And you already, and there is like no way to do that bef without um, getting hostile with them to get in the uh, rescuing the thing and the gnomes. So as you can see, I'm just waiting that the the thing get close to enter the ship. You just have to to wait, and I'm gonna pass it far over the same yes making things so they can see and now when we are close you destroy the last chain Even with the enemy so near, yes, you're just waiting for the Tirfin to come near to use the ship. So you see, the Tirfin are getting near at this moment. That distance is, uh, should be enough for them to join the ship. So now. Yeah, this is is very good, so they can drop the weapon. If you should see it, obviously.
And then all the tilting are on position, as you can see, they are all here. So you just click the, the sheet. And you got the cinematic that you, you're running with the sheet without no one of them died. And the one is okay, as you can see, they are all on board. And then you sail and get to uh, Moonridge Tower. And it should give you the achievement. Achievement should be complete. It's an easy way to cheese this fight. You don't even need to steal the 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 mats for, for the gnome or do anything. Through the dark until time, skill or luck brings you to last light's dock. If you hadn't been here before, and there should be a Yahira should be appearing and interrogating you. But I already been on this game through to the to Moonrace Tower, so it's only this guy at the docks. We just keep it. 